Matthew's Gospel gives us the classic rendition of the Our Father, and in it uh, we find what is often referred to as the perfect prayer, for it has all the elements of prayer uh, in one simple phrasing. Uh, it has elements of uh, adoration, of thanksgiving, of contrition, and petition. Uh, for we begin with the Our Father uh, by recognizing uh, God as creator and uh, ruler of all. Uh, we recognize his place in the heavenly kingdom. And uh, not only the fact that his name is hallowed, is holy, uh, but that by his actions, by his uh, being, he makes everything that he creates holy as well. Uh, and we pray for the coming of the kingdom, uh, recognizing that the work of the kingdom oftentimes is the building up of the kingdom here on earth as well as um, the, rec the recognition of a kingdom yet to be, uh, yet to be realized, yet to be achieved, yet to be uh, lived in. And uh, then we come to what I often refer to um, as the four most challenging words in scripture and in prayer. Thy will be done. To recognize that it's not about us. To recognize that uh, it is not our will that we are uh, created to achieve, uh, but it is the will of God. And that can be a challenging, difficult, and seemingly impossible thing uh, to align our will uh, to the will of God, uh, to align our own being. Uh, to the will of the one who created us in love. Uh, and when we pray that uh, phrase, thy will be done, we have to ask ourselves, do we mean it? Do we truly want God's will to be done in our lives? Uh, for God's will to be done in our lives is the best possible outcomes, but it is also the, probably the most challenging way to live. Uh, because again, it means putting our will, our desires, our uh, thoughts second to that of God, uh, to recognize that here on this life on earth, uh, that it is our duty, it is our opportunity uh, to build up the kingdom of heaven uh, here on earth, to build up God's kingdom here on earth. Uh, and then, of course, we come to that moment of petition when we pray for our daily bread, for those things that sustain us, for those things that we truly need to help us to grow in faith and hope and in love. Uh, and then another challenging uh, passage, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Well, who doesn't want to be forgiven of their transgressions, of their sins? Yet we will only be forgiven in the measure that we are ready to forgive our brothers and sisters, that we are ready to uh, accept their uh, forgiveness uh, and to really let it take root in our hearts uh, so that we then uh, can be forgiven, we can be open to God's forgiveness. And so often, uh, certainly in this Lenten season, as I hear confessions as often as I do, um, I, I hear from folks uh, an interesting thought that um, they know that God forgives them, uh, but they find it challenging for them to forgive themselves. Uh, and I think in this passage, you know, forgive us our trespasses, we not only um, ask for God's forgiveness, but become ready to accept it, uh, to be vessels of God's forgiving love, uh, so that it may take root in our hearts and it may indeed change us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In other words, praying God to keep us safe, praying God to keep us on the road to salvation, praying that God's uh, strength, God's power, and God's Holy Spirit uh, may bring us into safety, may bring us into uh, a secure way of living uh, that the world cannot promise, that the world cannot give, uh, to recognize that there will be temptations in the world, but it is through God's uh, desire and it is through God's uh, spirit uh, that we can resist these temptations, that we can uh, not allow ourselves to be led uh, by the devil uh, into these moments of sin uh, so that we may live in the presence always of God's love. 
Uh, and Jesus reminds us in uh, Matthew's Gospel that uh, if we forgive uh, others their transgressions, then we will be forgiven. But if we do not, then we, those uh, are still uh, held bound to us. Uh, and so when we recognize the opportunities God gives to us, we recognize uh, the challenge that it is to live the Christian life. We recognize the difficulty it is to uh, be disciples of Jesus Christ, to live in his way, and to uh, live uh, our lives in union with the will of God. Uh, and when we pray this prayer later on in our liturgy, let us come to recognize that it is an opportunity. It is an opportunity to grow in God's love uh, so that just as the rain and the snow come down and do not return until they have watered the earth, so too uh, God's word uh, takes root in us uh, and lays fallow until it is we speak that word, until we offer that word to our brothers and sisters. And then it takes root not only in our lives, but in the lives of all we meet. And so as a people of faith, let us continue to recognize the opportunities that God gives to us to grow in his love, to be secure in his love, and to share this love with all whom we meet.